Tammy Wolf with the TMC Newsroom. Today is December 1st, 2010, and here are today's top stories. Alicia Keys, Lady Gaga, Justin Timberlake, and a number of other celebrities will go on a social media strike starting today to help raise money for families affected by the AIDS epidemic in Africa and India. Entertainers who take part in the campaign, called Digital Life Sacrifice, will temporarily sign off of sites like Facebook and Twitter today, which is World AIDS Day. The pop stars and other celebrities will not tweet or update their status until the campaign raises at least $1 million. Proceeds will go toward Keys' Keep a Child Alive charity, which is part of the global AIDS awareness movement. Google ran an ad with France's top network this past weekend during the country's biggest television night of the year in an effort to win over French consumers. The one-minute commercial, which ran during the debut of the highest-grossing film in French history, could represent Google's second most expensive TV spot ever, behind last year's Super Bowl advertisement. Google launched the ad as what a Business Insider report is calling a charm offensive. Google has struggled in selling its online ads to small businesses, businesses in France and has failed to capture the country's mobile phone market with its Android-based handsets, which are flying off the shelves in the U.S. The ad campaign may also be an attempt by Google to win over the French government, which is considered signing into law an online advertising tax known as the Google tax, which would force French-based companies that purchase online advertising services to pay a 1% tax to the French government. According to a Wall Street Journal blog, rumors are swelling that MySpace, which is owned by North News Corporation, may be for sale. MySpace's chief operating officer, Chase Carey, told the journal that the company is open to all options for MySpace, pending an overhaul of the struggling social networking website. MySpace has fallen to its knees in front of its competitor, Facebook. The site saw 58.1 million unique visitors in October this year, which is down almost 10% from the same period in 2009. Advertising spending on MySpace has been predicted to decline 37% this year, $347 million, according to researchers. Though it's not certain whether MySpace will be sold, Kerry was recently quoted as saying that the site's losses are not acceptable and headway needs to be made in the coming quarters to get the business to its sustainable level. That's all for today. For all the latest news in the communications world, visit TMCNet.com. I'm Tammy Wolf with the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching.